everyone. I am hoping this is working and I am just popping on to say hello, see how you all are, and to let you know about my bauble collection. I'm so excited. I still don't know where to look. Talking on a live with someone else, I know how to look because I know I need to look at them, but I never know where to look. Anyway, if anyone's there, do say hello. Do let me know what you're doing, what time of the day it is for you, what you're up to, and all of that jazz. Um, because I'm just popping on quickly. If you saw me yesterday, I was on live with the wonderful Brianna from Brianna K Designs and with Marley Bird, of all people, Marley of Marley Bird, um, because I have launched a new collection. Uh, which goes along with a crochet along that begins on Monday. So if you're free and you haven't signed up and you want to come and join, please do come and join. Um, but it's for my baubles and I'm going to pop the link in here and I'm hoping that um, this time, last time I used this system, it wouldn't let me see any of your comments. So if there's anybody out there, please pop a comment in and let me know if, if I can see them. It would be wonderful to say hello and know where you're watching from and what you're up to, what you're making at the moment, all that kind of stuff. Do come and say hello. No one yet. So, and I know there's people watching, so maybe it's not working. I'm really sorry if you're commenting and I can't see them. Um, but anyway, we are launching, we, I say <laughs> I, have launched my bauble collection. Now, I discovered once I designed these that um, not everyone in the world calls these baubles. You can see one on the screen at the back there, and I'll just hold one up for you. Basically, they're festive. Oh, Vicky's there. Hi, Vicky. Yes, my comments are working. Oh, oh. That makes me so happy. Hello, Vicky from Michigan. How, oh, it's lovely, lovely to have you here with me. Um, gosh, what time of the day is it there for you? Is it quite early? Probably, isn't it? Yeah, probably. I'm not sure which side, which side you're on. Anyway, my baubles, which are basically festive decorations that we hang on our tree here at home, but you could make a garland out of them. You could make a wreath out of them if you wanted to. You could hang them wherever you like. Um, and I've gone to town with them. I've made 21. <laughs> I've made 21 of them because my aim with this is to show you that crochet colour work isn't as scary as you might think it is. Oh, Vicky, 9 a.m. for Vicky. Oh, morning then, Vicky. Hope you've got some coffee, something to get you awake. My point is to try and teach colour work and show you that colour work in crochet is not as tricky as it may seem. Um, I know that I, I say that about absolutely everything, but I honestly feel like if you break stuff down and you work through it step by step, it's just not as scary as if you try and tackle a massive project all in one go with a new technique. And so that's why we've done these small, manageable projects. I'll just keep picking them up because yesterday when I was on the live, everyone was like, show me more, show me more. Um, so it's amazing the difference that you can get in just the center of these baubles is the only bit that's different. The top and the bottom are exactly the same for every single bauble. And I should get you one of each technique, shouldn't I? So we've got overlay mosaic crochet, which I know scares a lot of people because there's lots of crosses and bits and pieces on the charts and what on earth does that mean? So that's, that's that one there. Then we have got these little reindeer um, on this tapestry crochet bauble. Um, and that's that's a lot easier, I think, than mosaic crochet. So don't tell anyone I said that, but I think they're, they're the easiest ones. And then where's a feral one? Here's a feral one. So, oh, this is a bit bright in the light there. Um, feral ones, like you can really get lots of details on these because the stitches are shorter because we're working into the center. We're working split stitches for these feral ones. So you can probably tell that I'm really exciting, so excited because I'm going at a million miles an hour. But um, yeah, they're easy, they're manageable. They take me about an hour to make. Um, and then obviously I've made lots, so I got faster as I went along. Uh, but the, the bottom here is just six rounds, six rounds of crochet. And then this, this middle section for the color work, whether you're doing feral, tapestry, or mosaic, where's a mosaic one? Or you're doing mosaic, the center is not that many rounds to contend with and not that big of a chart to look at or pattern to read. Um, and then the top is then just another five rounds just to decrease and close the top. And um, so yeah, this is my this is my new thing that I have launched, and it's you can get it in lots of different ways. 
because for me that's a big big part of hand i know that not everyone can afford to buy patterns i completely understand that so what i am doing is offering you three different ways that you can access these bauble patterns so the first what well, one of the options not the first option one of the options will be from monday the fifth i will be releasing one of these bauble patterns each day on the blog but just the written pattern so it will tell you a in this a this many stitches in a that many stitches in b that kind of jazz um, um, and I will have um, a step-by-step -step video tutorial for you to watch on YouTube um, with the details about how to work the kind of technique, basically. Um, so if you want to, you can come and you can join in and you can come each day and there will be a basic pattern chart to download, but it will only be there for 24 hours. And then after that 24 hours, it will disappear and then the next one will arrive. Um, so you're very, very welcome to come and join that way. And that's supported by ads. I have ads on my blog, which means that I can provide patterns for free for you. Um, then the next option is to purchase the ebook. So I've made a 66 page ebook, which has got step-by-step -step pictures to show you exactly how all of the techniques work, how all the stitches work, um, how to put your bauble in, how to make a, a napkin ring. I, <laughs> I transformed one of them into a cute napkin ring because uh, I suddenly thought, oh, that might work. So I've done a tutorial for that as well in the ebook. And then the, the gold standard, the top one is the course, which um, I have put in an online course. So it's completely ad free. None of the videos have got ads on them like the YouTube ones normally do. Um, and there are 12 videos within it. I've broken them down into smaller sections that are much more manageable and much more bite size and added three extra um, patterns in there. So there will be 18 for free on the blog, but there will be 21 available in the entire thing. Um, if you choose to purchase the course and yeah, so that is available, but I have a very very special offer and I'm going to show you here now This is my how do I make that bigger? How do I get that off there? Let's get rid of the chat Hmm, there we go. There we are. I figured it out. There we go <laughs> So this Borbling Along Crochet Collection, this is the page that you will go to if you follow that link through and it will tell you da -da -da, there's a special launch day price, purchase the ebook and get the course for free. So this is still going on. You've got a couple of hours um, until this offer finishes. So basically the price that you see here on this page, there's an awful lot of information here about how, how it all works, what you get in the course, what the ebook's got, a picture of all of the baubles. So we have several ones, we have seven tapestry ones, and we have seven mosaic ones so there's a lovely selection and you can make all of them some of them none of them you can do whatever you like really um, and then all the information about what the tutorials are that are in it and then there's the special launch day price um, which is the regular price of the ebook so after this finishes in a couple of hours the ebook will be this price and then the course will go up to almost double this price so you're getting the course for free if you choose to buy within the next couple of hours. And I also am giving a um, $15 um, Ravelry vow to my store. So um, yeah, Marley, when I was on the live yesterday with Marley, she was basically, she was like, but Hannah, so that's basically free then. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I want to spread the festive cheer, cheer. If this is something that you would like to get and you would like to dive into, then go for it. You've not got long. Um, the link is, I think, in all of the bits and pieces. I can pop it again in the chat here. Um, but yeah, the crochet along, whether you choose to buy the course, whether you choose to buy the ebook, or whether you join along for free, the crochet along will happen in the Hanjang Crochet Community Group over on Facebook. And I would love for you to post your pictures, let me know what you're up to, how you're getting on, what you've chosen to make first, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But I suppose I should tell you more actually about what we use, what the what the materials are. Now you can sign up on that um, on that page I just showed you. There is a little um, sign up join for the crochet along. And if you sign up for that, obviously if you buy the course and buy the ebook, you'll get the material list within it. But if you want to join for free, then just sign up on that link, and you'll get the supply list come through via email to you. Um, but you don't need all that much stuff. I mean, they use barely any yarn, maybe like 20 grams, maybe less of yarn each. 
so it's a great project for using up your scraps of yarn. Um, I use worsted weight yarn. I use Colour Theory from Lion Brand. And um, I would say it's on the lighter side of worsted weight yarn. But in, in some ways, that's that's a good thing. Because over here in the UK, we you would find that lots of our DK um, double knit yarns actually match quite nicely to this. And the other thing is, it really doesn't matter. Because we don't need to worry too much about tension and gauge for this. Because... If you're going to um, pop them over a ready-made bauble, I use plastic um, plastic fillable baubles with the little snap top things that go back on here. Um, then you just need to make sure that it will stretch to fit over the top. But if you are going to stuff yours, which is a really good way of doing it, you can just use fibre fill or scraps of yarn or bits of fabric. You can use whatever you like, basically then your bubbles can be as big or as small as they like. So I know that very often we harp on as designers about, oh, you must do a tension swatch, you must do a gauge swatch. You don't have to for this. Honestly, you can just crack on and make. And if you're happy with the size that it is and how it looks for you, then just go with it. That's absolutely fine. Because this time of year, I wanted to create something that was completely stress-free, that was nice and straightforward, and we can just focus on learning the techniques together. Um, let me grab some more to show you. The techniques together, as opposed to focusing on, have I got it the right size? Have I got the right amount of stitches and the right amount of space? All that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah. I completely forgot what I was going to say next then. I don't know. I don't know. If anyone has any questions, I know you're out there. I can see that you're out there. If anyone has any questions, please do ask me. Um, and if you've if you've got your got your course already and delved in, you know, let me know which ones you're going to try first or what yarn you're going to use, what colours. That's the other thing. I've gone for quite well, the the line brand, the colour theory yarn has a really beautiful, beautiful selection of natural um, and more kind of earthy colours, which I really gravitated to. So, um, but I think they would look great in really traditional colours, you know, bright red and green and white and so on. Um, and also maybe, dare I say it, like some neons or something, something really bright, you could give a huge pop, especially with these mosaic ones, because they're the patterning on those is really striking. So if you use two really contrasting, oh, black and white, black and white would look really nice as well, I think, wouldn't it, for these? Um, so yeah, come and pop into the community group and let me know what yarn you're going to use, what, you know, which ones you're going to try first, all that kind of stuff. Um, and also, I would love to know, like, what, what worries you about these, what scares you? Because I showed these to my mum, who's a really accomplished crochet and knitter. And she was like, oh gosh, I can never do those. They look so hard. And I was like, actually, mum, they're, they're not that tricky. Once you, if you can, if you can work a top-down hat or a bottom-up bag, or basically just crochet a circle, which is this bottom bit, then that's fine. We can do that. That's absolutely fine. And then if you can work for the mosaic ones, we use single crochet stitches in the back loop only. And then we do double crochets. And I'll show you exactly how we drop those down into two rounds below. Um, and then for the Ferrar ones, we use split single crochets, but the whole of the thing, the whole of the baubles use single crochet stitches. And we just pop it into the center of the stitch as opposed to into the side of the stitch as you would normally. And then I'm losing my baubles. Where are they? Where's the tapestry one? The tapestry ones we use a single crochet in the back loop only and that is all there is to it so if you can single crochet and you know the anatomy of a stitch then you can do these you can absolutely do these um and also even if you can't single crochet come along and join me in the course because i'll show you i'll show you how to do it so oh i'm so excited i really really am and i cannot wait to start so if you would like to grab the course as i say it's on offer for another two hours i think maybe there's a time ticker at the top of the page um and then it will convert and i say it will be almost double the price uh, but it will still be available it will still be on offer throughout the crochet long which goes until the 22nd of december um, or sign up for free and I will let you know each day when I put the new pattern up on the blog and I will, well, I'm keeping it a mystery. I'm not going to let you know which pattern it is um, until the day that it launches, um, just because I like, I like surprises. So I thought you might like surprises too. So, um, so come along and join me. 
and let me know what you're going to make, what colors you're gonna use, what yarn, all that kind of stuff. And if you've got any ingenious ideas for stuffing them or filling them or what else you could use them for, could they could be like little gift bags and stuff, I reckon. Yeah, if you've got any other ideas of how to use these designs, then do come and let me know. I cannot wait to start with you. And I will do my best to pop in live as much as I possibly can and do question and answer sessions um, and see how you're getting on. Uh, so yeah. Come and join me and I'll see you soon.